everybody. This is Cheryl again and talking about a little bit about some backyard beekeeping. Last year in my garden I had this tub sitting underneath some lipstick vine. I was going to use that for um, black soldier fly larvae and it worked really well the year before for black soldier fly larvae and as you can see there's the tubing that was in there but what is hanging down in there is beeswax. I had a hive of Africanized bees come visit I had a hive of Africanized bees come and make this their home. And I did not know they were Africanized at the time. Now I find out that all bees, all feral bees anyway, in Southern California are Africanized to some degree or another. This hive was actually much nastier than I thought it was. And when I went to go lift that lid, uh, did I get seriously swarmed. Um, I had attempted at that time to use a method of smoking the bees involving a water sprayer with a little bit of white liquid smoke in it and for Africanized bees that does not work. Uh, despite my gloves and my gear my hands got stung quite a bit while I was moving this hive. Uh, I've since then killed the queen and it is a much more docile hive. I have a new queen on order but this being February probably won't get here until the mid-April or so, early May. I have allowed them to create their own queen for now and this new queen and hive seems to be much more docile than the original hive was. It's a very small hive. It's not really that big. So right at the moment they are very manageable. The uh, box that they're in is way bigger than the hive. It should, should have been, been a, in nuke, a nuke, but I didn't have one set up at that time and I really don't care to move them now that they're happy in here. As you can see there's some bees flying in and out of this particular hive. My cousin called me a while ago and he had a feral hive in a tree by his house, it, on his property. And for the most part this hive was pretty good. He had two, one was really nasty and he actually burned that one out with a, with a flare. He said it burned for hours. Uh, this was in a branch that had fallen on the ground. And I came in and we used, we smoked them really good. I used, he used a chainsaw, cut it open. They didn't even try to sting. They were coming out and wandering around on us just trying to figure out what in the world we were doing. But other than that, they were pretty decent. And so I cut out all the comb and all the comb is in this hive. Um, this is a top bar hive. I can't open it right now because it's just way too new. And so all the comb is in here that had the brood had some honey in it and I and the bees that were on those combs uh, I sucked up quite a few with my bee vac and put them into this hive then because we had smoked that hive so severely the queen went up into a hollow branch way up at the top of this tree stump or tree trunk that had fallen and we couldn't get to her so I put a swarm box uh, on that on that tree trunk that we had opened up and we knew she was going to come out because she didn't have much room there and she didn't go in the swarm box but she did go into the tree right next to it and so there was a nice beautiful swarm sitting in that tree next to it two days later and I went in with my bee vac and got the entire swarm and like I said these guys are not that bad at all so we got this swarm now these aren't these guys aren't that bad at all these are pretty decent bees and I was able to get the entire swarm and this particular, this particular new box, box had, a had a couple of pieces of old comb in it and so I opened up the box basically just kind of dumped in the bees uh, put the top bars back on it and this was yesterday and no day before yesterday I'm sorry and they seem to be doing quite well and have taken to this just fine all of the adult bees the forage bees from that other hive came to this hive so